Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining Tierra Cero. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. This video will be for my beautiful and handsome Leos. How you doing? How you doing? So let's go ahead and get started for you guys. I'm going to hop right into this video. If it resonates, it resonates. Um, if not, then look at the other place we'll see in your chart. Okay? I had to go pick up that card. But anyway, <laughs> let's see what comes out today for you guys. Okay? All right, let's see what's going on for my Leos. 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 A little bit more. A little bit more for the Leos. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. Damn, I'll be set up for just a second. All right. So what we have here is she was poison. Your friend wants me. Mm -mm. Then we have money. Ooh, got money and money coming in. Leo, yes, 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 yes. So some of y'all got some money coming in. All right, and it's going to be having y'all real selfish. Real selfish, okay? Someone is asking when you marry them. Let's see if that's a different um, energy from the first two cards, okay? Then we have here, ho, okay, sassy attitude, okay? Then we have here, shy guy, oh, okay, let's see. So let me break it down a little bit for just, you know, go over what I see right now. So, I don't know if someone left you or someone this and um, this person was poisoned. Now this person is figuring out that the grass was not greener on the other side. I don't know if this was a friend of y'all's or y'all just known this individual. You got cordial with the individual. Some of you could have been co-parenting. What have you. Anything of that nature, okay? And um, so somebody probably been a hoe. Somebody friend was probably a hoe. Or somebody friend tried to come on to their man or their ex-partner or what have you. We're going to get into it. But I'm definitely seeing money coming in for you. Money coming in for my Leos, okay? Money, money, money. We got that twice. So some of y'all definitely got some money coming in. So be expecting that money, baby. We're going to get into that as well, okay? But somebody here um, describing some type of particular female. This female here could be a hoe, and she could have a nasty-ass attitude, okay? So let's see. I don't know why this is coming about, but let's see about this friend or what have you or this friend. Let's see if she ties into... Um, this person, okay? Let's see. Uh-uh. For some reason, Leo, I'm always getting a shady friend with y'all. And that friend always come out and sit and it always says that she wants to be with your masculine or what have you. Okay? I don't understand it. Um, but some of you could be dealing with a water sign. You could be starting something new out with a water sign for some of y'all. Okay, I keep getting that for some reason. Alright, but um, let's see. Let's see. Let's get into it. We're probably going to save the best for last when it comes to the money, money, money. We also have here someone that is very shy. Um, and this person could be afraid to approach you. This could be an admirer or what have you. Um, this person definitely is looking at you as marriage material. So we're going to see who that is too. All right. Let's see. Who is she is poisoning? Your friend wants me. Who is this friend that wants Leo's masculine. This is somebody that you're guarded against. Somebody that you don't even feel um, a, a friendship with or, you know, what have you. Or this could be someone that you are blocked or you have your guards up against. This could be an ex-masculine, a karmic masculine or what have you. All right? So, some of you could definitely have your guards up against someone. Okay? You're probably not even fucking with them. All right? So, for some of y'all, could be a, a Scorpio. All right? With the death card. So somebody is saying that your friend could be poisoned and she wants to be with me. Well, let's see who this friend is. Okay. Let's see who's this friend. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, you could be in a commitment with this individual now. Or um, this is someone that you did work with. Somebody, uh, a French that you did work with here. Okay. Let's see. Tower. More Scorpionic energy. So some of you know a friend that could be a Scorpio. doesn't even have to, have to be a friend. It could be a family member, anything of that nature, okay? But definitely a Scorpio in particular, okay? We have Scorpio here on the table very, very heavily, okay? So you could have been in a commitment maybe with a Scorpio. And uh, let's see. Or your gardener, get yourself against a Scorpio. For some of y'all. 
Okay, then we have a Queen of Pentacles. All right, some of y'all could be guarded against maybe a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. All right, for some of y'all, Leo. Okay, well, this could be a mother figure. This definitely could be a mother figure, somebody that could have kids or what have you. Okay, mm, let me sip my coffee. So somebody could have been saying that they were dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or a Taurus friend, all right, that wanted to be with one of you guys a masculine. This could be an ex-masculine or what have you, or current, okay? We got the Queen of Swords. This person was definitely very bitter, very angry, very mad, okay? This person couldn't even concentrate or what have you, or you just definitely cut this friend out. You had to cut this friend out, okay? Because this friend wasn't doing nothing but bringing tower moments into your life. You see that this friend might have been a snake, okay? Or this co-worker was a snake, tried to end your job, what have you, okay? Something in that nature. Then we have the independent card, nine of pentacles. So this person probably was jealous of your independence or this friend or what have you and was trying to come for your masculine because they wanted to hurt you in some particular way. She's poison. This friend ain't shit. Now I'm going to ask is, is this a, let me see, if this a current masculine or is this a current? Is this a current or, mm, Ace of Swords. <laughs> we got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is somebody that you did end it with. This is a past person. Okay. This is somebody that's up at night worried about you. Okay, so this is the truth. Somebody's friend ain't shit. This is a friend that you already cut out or you already feeling the wishy-washy vibes with and slowly detach yourself from this individual. All right, now you got your guards up against this person. All right, you've seen this person is very mad, very bitter, and jealous here. Okay, yeah, bitches will do anything to try to mess up your relationship. You know, but this was in your past. I see that some of you probably gave this, you know, I let this nigga have this, this chick, this bitch, okay? Because, mm, mm. But now this person is saying that they want to come back, period. Um, That this bitch was poisoned, all right? This friend, whoever, this, this bitch was poisoned, okay? Anything else? Somebody was a hoe. Will of Fortune. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a shift and a change in your life. Period. All right. Things are. So I'm getting like the tables have turned. That's what I'm hearing. The tables have turned as well for you guys. All right. You know, you're not even bothered about this shit. Like you cut it out and with no problem with ease. Okay. Yeah. You chose a different path. It was like, oh, you bitches is doing like, you're doing it like that. You're doing it like that. Mm -mm. I don't. Oh, no. I don't play them games, bitch. Some of you could have probably gotten into a physical altercation with this person, be they ass or what have you, and went about your business, or some of you came close to it, I don't know. <laughs> but either way it go, you cut their ass out. Like, uh-uh, you don't play that. You don't play about no, no dirty ass friends. I'm sorry. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Let's see. What is this hoe with a sassy attitude? What is this hoe with a sassy attitude? Mm. So somebody has an attitude that you're getting your wishes fulfilled. I'm getting that somebody could have um, been lying on your name, saying you've been out here with an attitude that you really are a hoe. Oh, hell no. Yeah, you you you, you said bye-bye, bitch. Bye. Okay? Bye-bye. Some of you let this friend go. Bye-bye. This is why I did that. Because at the end of the day, you knew this friend was jealous. Okay? Some of you knew. Some of you already knew. But this person is feeling bad. Because I'm getting like, you brought the light into their world here, Leo. You brought the light in their world. And they're going to go ahead and do that shit to you. Okay? Ooh, Lord, Leo. Yo, you got to boss the hell up. Okay? See, with the Sun card, the King of Pentacles, there you go with that money, baby. Okay? With the Magician card and the uh, Ten of Wands. Okay? So, it's just like, you just had to manifest a way on out of this shit. Because you seen that your circle was, um, you know, it wasn't right. Get them photos about your circle. Yeah. Alright? That's definitely what I'm getting from that. 
And somebody could have been jealous of the way that somebody loves you. I'm getting that for some reason. Okay, somebody definitely in love with you. Could have been in father figure. I'm getting. Okay, so there could have been a father figure that's in love with you, and these hoes tried to break it up. They tried to come between it, or what have you. I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, let's get into shy guy. Who's this shy guy? In Leo's world, who is a shy guy? In Leo's world, oh, this person is heartbroken. Queen of Wands. See, there you go, Leo. This could be what? So, this shy guy is afraid to approach you. This person sees. See, this person is afraid of rejection, and they do have trust issues. Is what I'm getting. Or for some of y'all, Leo, y'all do have trust issues as well. Y'all don't trust people. Okay. Um. Maybe you could be given to this person or flirting with this person or what have you. But you know this person in some type of particular way. But um, let me see. What is the three of swords? Why am I getting that? That don't make no sense. Okay, y'all. This is this is what I got. This is definitely a counterpart. Okay, because we have the king of wands here. So this is definitely a divine counterpart here. This person could be shy. This person probably doesn't know how to express their feelings towards you. Okay? But I feel like y'all don't trust this individual. Because this, this individual here is reckless at the mouth. Okay? This is the person that could be a hoe. And that has a sassy ass attitude is what I'm getting. And this person could be shy. And this person doesn't really express themselves. But they feel a lot. I, that's crazy. Like... They, um, this person could communicate with their eyes, they could stare at you a lot, or what have you, but, um, this person here, this could be, in, this could be the ex-karmic as well, y'all, alright, but definitely what I'm getting is this person tries to, um, go against this situation, or what have you, I'm just getting that you got your guards up against this person, you do not trust them, you feel like they're conflict, they're, they're too much here, because with the five of wands, that's conflict, that's arguing, that's bickering here, okay, and then with the three of swords, you already don't trust this individual, so you don't care how shy they are, you don't care how they communicate, it's just like, mm -mm, you know how you feel about them, so you're not, you know, you know, you're not studying that situation, is what I'm getting, okay, Yeah, somebody's feeling the lack. They're feeling the lack without you. Some of you are feeling that in that situation, it's like you was not able to prosper. You was not able to be your full, you know, your full self around this person. Or just, you know, get to your, how you are now. Get to where you at now. You know what I'm saying? You felt like this person was delaying certain things into your life. Here, period. You know that this person could be jealous of you. Ugh. It's crazy how these men can be so jealous of a female. I don't get it. But to me, it's like, if you're jealous of a female, sir, then I'm sorry, but you got a little bitchy ways. Period. Okay? Alrighty. And my bad, uh, masculine Leos, to cut y'all out. Okay? Um, this could have been you. Okay? As far as, in like... You protecting yourself against maybe this queen of wands, okay? This person you feel like you can't trust. This you feel like this person is uh got competition out there. If they are out there dating other, you know, other people for some of y'all, okay? Let's see about this money. What's going on for money? And money. Ooh, some of y'all, okay. Ooh. Some of y'all are going to basically go into business for yourselves. Where my car? Okay, y'all going into business for yourselves. Y'all bossing up. Y'all stepping up with the chariot card to the emperor. All right. Um, there also could be an emperor or someone, a boss man or whatever, somebody that's very established could be reaching out to you to offer you some money here. All right. They're going to offer you opportunities. Some of you could be taking that too as well. Somebody's been watching you for a while. They've been watching your work here. Okay. Anything else? Oh, yes. It's going to be a brand new brand new opportunity with the four wands and the ace of wands. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So, so somebody definitely going. This is going to make you so happy, Leo. Whatever this is, okay, you're going to be passionate about it. Um, You're going to be all in. Whatever this is, you're definitely going to be all into this, okay? Damn, y'all bossing the hell up. Okay? 
this is a you don't know about this because somebody's watching you in secret okay but i'm definitely getting some type of money it's going to definitely help you okay pay your bills for some of y'all and not only you know you're going to get, get paid but you're going to be loving doing whatever this is okay some of you stepping into your entrepreneurship for sure okay definitely okay anything else Somebody going through it, y'all. It might be this friend or this masculine with the shadow card and the karma here. Somebody could be going through it. Who, who is this person that's going through it? Who's going through it? See, this person been watching you. It could be an air sign, okay? See, somebody watching you move on. This is their karma. Their, their karma is to watch you boss up, uh, move on here, have a new beginning in your life here, period, okay? Damn, somebody feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you, all right? But, hey. Y'all don't appreciate nothing until it's gone. That's how I be, okay? A lot of folks don't appreciate what they have until it's gone. My little cards and fell off. Dang. Did not feel like picking them up. But anyway, let me get you guys some advice, okay? Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm going to go ahead and take it. <laughs> So we got the Knight of Pentacles, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going, pay attention to the details, wait for the perfect timing, a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. So you guys are protected, just know that, okay, you have a guardian angel that's looking over you and your finances here, okay, you could have somebody that is loyal and dedicated and very protective that is, that's like in your um, energy here, or that's going to come through to protect you guys, okay? Then we also have here the page of swords, a logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, and exciting intellectual challenge. Bringing insights, information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents very carefully. So some of you definitely could be getting some news that, um, is going to make you feel some type of way or what have you, but don't worry about that. Everything's going to work out in the end here. There's going to be some type of blood and exciting times that's going to come up to you in the future. All right. Then we have the queen of pentacles. So generous, practical, gracious, materialistic, the ability to make everything more beautiful, a love of a family and home. Be practical about how you proceed a love of art and beauty a sensible approach here so some of you definitely are going to be paying more attention to your home all right could be redecorating here or could be just gearing the bag even more all right we do have that money coming so some of you definitely are going to be beautiful abundant and um you know financially stable here all right you're going to be able to take care of your children if some of you have children here or just even do more for them you know uh, something that you had on layaway or you put on hold you're going to be able to pay for that all right then we have here the Three of Cups. News is worth celebrating. Joyful announcements like engagement, weddings, pregnancy, or graduation. A time for gratitude, close communities, or chosen families. Wow. So there's going to be a celebration coming up for you guys as well. You're going to be um, definitely jumping for joy here. Okay. Something is going to be worth celebrating. Period. So some... Um, and some people around you, or if this is not you, you're going to be um, hearing about an engagement. Okay, somebody might be getting married. Uh, somebody could be announcing that they're pregnant as well. Or, or you know, um, if you're in college or what have you, some somebody could be graduating as well. All right. Or some of you just definitely going to be noticing that you are a chosen one. Your family is chosen just by how God is looking out for you. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.